hi viewers today we are going to learn uh, about uh, <laughs> with if conditions uh, and with if conditions how do we create how to say the incentive uh, calculation actually if you you plan to keep any incentive uh, to your employees based on certain uh, performance actually based on the sales or uh, something so i'm going to teach you how to use that i'm going to use if conditions there uh, to calculate the incentive amount for your employees actually okay this is the sample data that i have taken this is a list of employees and in the column d the sales amount and this is the incentives a sample incentive slab that i'm going to and you can create your own slab based on the sales or whatever the target that you want to set you can create the slabs here okay and this is the incentive slab just if the employee just if the sales amount is less than thousand so you will not get any incentive and if the employee sales amount is between 1000 and 2500 which means from 1001 rupees actually 1012 less than or equal to 2500 you will get 100 rupees and from 2000 2501 to 4000 you will get 200 rupees and from 4001 if you achieve more than 4000 4001 onwards you will get 300 rupees so i am going to give the formula here the condition formula based on this lab first <laughs> Okay. Equal to if open bracket and choose the column D uh, D five comma. <coughs> Sorry, don't use comma. Just we need to use the conditions. Actually. If D five. Okay. <coughs> okay. Let's I am. <coughs> Going with the descending order actually, just descending this is from the top level. If the employee earns more than greater than four thousand, then you will get how much three hundred rupees. Okay, this one condition is over. Then give comma. Next, the next condition. If this employee, okay, now the next is two thousand five hundred to four thousand. The employee get two thousand hundred rupees. So here I'm going to use if and then and condition. <coughs> okay. If and and okay. And this <coughs> D5 less than or equal to four thousand comma D5. <coughs> Greater than how much 2500. This is the range, okay, between 4000 to 2501. Then I should get 200 rupees. And then now I'm going to use the next condition again. I'm going to if and D5. Less than or equal to 2500, comma, D5, <coughs> and greater than 1000. Then, incentive amount is 100 rupees. And next, since there is no, there is, since there is a lost condition actually, so you would be. If anything less than this thousand rupees, thousand are equal to actually, then you'll get zero. So there you don't need to give any condition, just you can give result zero actually. So whatever the condition that beyond this, beyond uh, the about thousand actually, that will take zero actually. That means less than anything less than or equal to thousand, that will come as a zero. Okay, next we're going to close the bracket. One, 
see when you're closing the bar bracket just you see okay it will automatically just it will highlight actually okay one two three okay when in the highlights here just you can enter that actually okay now see this employees 2401 which means he falls into second slab so that is actually the first lab you will get 100 rupees okay now i'm getting second he falls into this lab so he's getting 200 rupees so just you can copy this <laughs> copy this okay so the incentive amount is calculated accordingly okay Put in the center okay this is how you can calculate the incentive slab with if conditions okay okay that's it for today guys we'll see more conditions in a different what to say a different dimensions and with the different examples so there are a lot of things to do with if conditions and we'll see one by one and also with other formulas for Hope you guys have liked it. Actually, just if you like it, please subscribe and and share and click the bell button, guys. Thank you. Thank you for watching.